everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Andre's Revved Up Reviews. Now earlier I reviewed you some of my video games, some of my DVDs, and of course, anything that has Evil Dead fans going nuts for. So this is episode 3 of my show, and I'm going to review to you guys that something that's so incredible. I started to collect one of these. Now, I've, now earlier I've collected baseball cards last decade. And the fun started when I was collecting garbage pail kids cards. But that's what I'm here but that's not what I'm talking about right now. What I have found is probably one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. And it's actually one of the biggest trends of all. So I'd like to review to you the pop television vinyl figures from Funko. Now these are figures that you see every day on the shelves at your local toy stores, Barnes and Nobles, comic book stores, uh, clothing stores, any store of all. Now these are actually um, vinyl figures that, that are featured in pop culture. Either it's from movies, video games, TV shows, move, music, whatever. Or even the comics. So I'd like to review to you three figures that, well, trust me, these three figures mean much more to me than anything else. So the first one I want to start off with is Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now what I like about this is the texture of this turtle. With the What I like about this is the texture of how they created it. He's got the smirk on his face, the katana swords, and that little initial on his belt buckle, which is impressive. Now, normally, I would take this out the box, but I don't want to, because, well, it, well, you know the old, it's, what's, it's what all geeks do. They keep them in the boxes so they can be worth something. If you take them out of the boxes, they'll be worthless. So I'm not going to treat this as like an action figure toy to play with. I'm just going to treat this one as a collectible. As we look on the back, there's other figures to collect. You got your Raps, you got your Donnies, you got your Mikeys, Splinters, and of course, Shredder. Although they would have Rocksteady and Bebop, but thank God they don't make those. So what I like about this is that this is not a bobblehead doll, thank God. This is just a regular figure that if you're a turtle fan you can collect one of these I found this at I bought this at Barnes and Noble for about eight ninety five so if I had to give this one I'm gonna give this one four turtle shells out of five ha! the next one I want to show you is one I bought at the Wizard World Comic Con and I when I first laid eyes on this one I had to say Dude, I have to have this one, because this was one of my favorites. And why not? Say hello to Wreck-It Ralph. Now this, is, now, this is a figure that is just so adorably cute. I mean, look at Wreck-It Ralph's little beady eyes, the hair. There's no mouth. Bummer. But I do like the texture of Wreck-It Ralph's overalls, the hands, and the feet. This is just the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. And just by looking at him, I don't think I want to take this baby out the box. And as you see, there's other characters, such as Fix-It Felix, Vanellope, King Candy, and of course, Turbo. Now, if you're a Wreck-It Ralph fan, a video game fan, or Disney fan, or a Funko fan, this is a collectible. So, if I had to give this one a review, or any stars, I'm going to give this one... I give this one five controllers out of five. I'm going to give this one four controllers out of five. Last but not least, for all you Big Bang Theory fans out there, now, if you have a favorite character, such as uh, Penny... Bernadette, uh, Amy, uh, Leonard, Howard, Raj, or anyone else, you're all weak. 
No, I'm just joking. You're not weak. You're just... You're someone... You're a fan of those. And if you like running gags or whatnot, like the three knocks, <laughs> then you're going to love this. <coughs> I bought this at Barnes & Noble, and I have to say... You know, since I have two, I think I can collect the third one. This time from television. Say hello to Sheldon Cooper. Now, this is one of my favorite vinyl figures. Are you afraid of mice? I mean, it's got the texture. It's, gonna, it's got the features, the color. And the best part I like about Sheldon is... He's wearing a Green Lantern shirt. Now, normally you find this at Barnes and Noble or anywhere, but thank God I had to buy him. And I just and on this box, it has the facts about Sheldon Cooper. He's born in Texas. He happens to like Battlestar Galactica. His strengths are right here. There's his weakness. Driving happens to be one of them. You know, I could actually relate to Sheldon Cooper because me and him have everything in common. We wear superhero shirts. We don't drive. And the best part is we kind of geek out on everything. So, Mr. Co and normally you see me do the Hang With Mr. Cooper Instagram vid. Where I showed you Sheldon and the real Sheldon Cooper? Man. That was really hilarious. And I'm glad you all like it. So if I had to... You know, if, if I met Jim Parsons, I would ask him to autograph this. <clears throat> So if I have to give this figure a rating, I'm giving this one five superhero shirts out of five. There you have it. Three reviews of three of my favorite figures. I'm still waiting for the fourth one, so stay tuned for that. If I buy it, I'll review it. If not, it's okay. Anyway, that's episode three, but don't mi don't miss episode four next Tuesday, where I'm reviewing CDs of my picks. I can't tell you what they are, but trust me, you're gonna love it. You are really gonna love them. Well, that's my blog, ladies. And well, that's my review show. If you if you missed any of my episodes, you can go back and watch the other two. And, of course, you can catch the new one that's filming. Oh, what am I saying? If you missed any of my episodes, you know what to do. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, ECWDude17. Twitter, at ECWDude17. Become my friend on Facebook. Just type in my name, Andre Kringle. And, of course, if you're on Twitter, don't forget to use the hashtag... A R U R. No. Yeah. That's what it stands for. Andre's revved up reviews. Well, gotta go now. Peace.